on the screen, which is um, from the NHS, okay? It's freely available on the NHS. You can search for this guide yourself and download it for a copy later. And it's called the Eat Well Guide, okay? So I'm just gonna bob that up on the screen. Just give me one second. Okay, so hopefully this should be loading up and hopefully you can see this now, okay? So what we've got here is, well, I already said it, it's the Eat Well Guide. The Eat Well Guide, is designed to show you how much of each food group you should have in your day okay this is how your day should be made up it's got lots of information on there okay so i don't want to confuse you with too much of it but i'd like to give you the overview today just so there's a little bit more understanding on it and we know where we're going and then over the next few weeks on these wellness wednesdays i shall break down each section to make sure we're getting the right types of food from each section which will really help you get your health under control, okay? Because this type of eating is going to give you benefits towards that heart disease risk. It's going to lower that down, okay? It's going to improve it. It's going to reduce your chances of um, problems happening again, along with the exercise. Um, it's going to help you reduce other conditions, such as like diabetes risk, cancer risks. Um, you name it, there's a heck of a lot goes on from eating the right food, okay? so. What this guide shows you is a breakdown. So if you've got all your food from today and grouped them up into little sections, so you say, I put all my fruit and veg here and I put all my potatoes, bread and rice into this side and then there's my protein and there's my dairy and a little bit of fat. What you would hope is that it would look a little bit like this. Okay? Now, it might not quite look like that at the moment, but that's absolutely fine, okay? This is where we're starting from, It's to learn it. So this is the amount of food that we should have. So the green section, fruit and veg, quite a bit of our day is made up of that. Um, I would aim more to the veg side because it's got a lot better properties. In the yellowy orange section, we've got our carbohydrates or our starchy carbohydrates. So we've got our breads, pastas, rices, um, cereals, all sorts of things in there. A little sliver for the purple, which is about our fats and spreads. Blue section is our dairy, and our alternative to dairy if you don't eat dairy products. And then our pinkish section is our protein, okay? So our meat and also our meat alternatives, because not everybody eats that. Just so you can make note, on the outside of this poster, we've got the water, okay? So it's six to eight glasses a day of water or sugar-free drinks, okay? Tea and coffee do count, but we want to limit fruit juices. But make sure you have water, okay? Really important, really good for your health. Okay, we're going to keep that going. Um, like today, I want you to have your bottles with you when we do the exercise. Also on the outside, we've got the eat less often and the small amounts in the bottom corner, which is like the sauces, the biscuits, the crisps, the ice creams, particularly the high fat, high salt, high sugar foods, okay? Trying to reduce them down. Don't belong in our circle, as you can see. The things within that circle and the water should have every day, okay? And this is the type of amount we should be having. We'll make this easier as we go along through these Wellness Wednesdays, okay? We'll break down the groups and I'll give you new and more improved tools, okay? But if you do want to finish, uh, start again, if you do want to visit the NHS website and just type in the Eat Well Guide, you will find a lot of these resources so you can have them for yourself, okay? So that's where you want to start it off with. So wait, try and get yourself a copy of that if you can. Have a look at it and start seeing do I match those quantities of food in those groups, okay? And at the bottom, it tells you, if you want to look at your calories, you can do. I should have 2,500 for a man or 2,000 if I'm a woman. If I'm trying to reduce weight, then I need to knock about 500 calories a day off of each one, okay? That's a good starting point. Look at those, see how you're getting on, and then next time we'll move on to the next section. Feel free to comment on which section you prefer to hear about first next Wednesday, whether that's the carbohydrate or the fats or the fruit and veg, you name it, and we'll go there first. If nobody votes, I'll choose myself, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna stop this off the screen and bring it back to me. One second. Right, oh, back again then. So hopefully, that's giving you a little bit of an overview of what we're talking about with food, okay? Just to get you going, just to get you started. Don't wanna give you too much today to do, because that's a quite a big diagram, isn't it? Got a, quite a lot going on there. But if we get working with it, it'll do us, masses of favors and we'll get a lot healthier okay 
So what I want to do is move on to that little bit of exercise. So I said, we're going to need to warm up the whole body still, because that's still important, because all our joints will be getting used, all our muscles will get used, even though we are going to particularly focus on core and work from the floor, okay? So hopefully most of you are okay to work from the floor. Um, any, any issues, we can work on that, but you know, leave me some feedback and we'll keep adapting these to suit the audience, okay? Um, and I'll stop saying okay so much, because I realize I do say that a lot. <laughs> So just to start with, I might even get us a better angle um, so you can see more of me. Let me just flip my camera to the other version. Hopefully that doesn't ruin your view, but what it should do is give you a little bit more to see where my legs are, okay? Hopefully I'm still okay in view. Um, thumbs up from the panelists, they can see me all right, hopefully. Um, and let's just warm that body up, okay? So all I'm going to do is start nice and straightforward with a little matching on the spot. We do it this way because we really need to bring up that heart rate nice and gently, okay? So we're gonna warm through and warm through our joints, roughly spend five minutes or so trying to get this sorted out, which will get our heart rates just coming up a nice little bit and nice and safe. So while you're doing this, if you ever need to stop and have water, go and get it whenever you want. Uh, judge this on how you feel, okay? Know your own limitations. So. Uh, I normally like to use a, a 1 to 10 scale. Um, 1 is right at the bottom, easy, you know, do it all day, 1 and 2, no problem. I'm comfortable. If we get all the way up to 10, then we're too far and we don't want to go that way. What we're aiming towards is work our way up to like a level 3 and 4, okay? Which means I'm still okay, but I'm breathing a little harder, okay? We don't want to take ourselves much further than that today. So nice and steady. Hopefully, while you're just matching on the spot, it's just at one and two, nice and easy, okay? So think about those numbers in your head as you keep going. Okay, so feet are moving, that's got us started. Let's move it and let's get the upper body involved a little bit too. So we're gonna start keeping the feet going. <laughs> we're gonna start with little shoulder circles going forward, okay? So I want you to circle those shoulders forward, just roll them around, even into those joints, okay? This is looking at all our stuff around our rotator cuff, okay? Important place to look after. Important place so we don't have these problems. Too many people, shoulder issues. We don't want to encourage them. Okay, so we're still marching, but we're going to take those shoulders and bring them backwards. Okay. So I'm hoping you've still got a good angle here. Don't worry, when I move to the floor, I'll move the camera down to the floor with me. And we'll go landscape again because that will cover me being laid down the floor. Okay, so they're going a little bit round now. So we're going to expand them out now. So we're going to go back to going forward, but now we're going to bring the arms in, just small circles, okay? Just small circles. So we're gradually getting warmer. This is the upper body movements now. So this will start bringing our heart rates up. Again, think to yourself, am I a level one, two? Or am I feeling like a level three now? Am I getting a little bit more out of breath? So as you're doing that, let's increase those circles, okay? Again, any shoulder issues and stuff, just do a, the amount of circling that you can manage and we'll take it from there. Okay, so it go in nicely. Okay, I'm going to stop those arms and we're going to reverse them. So again, keeping them big. Again, this can be a bit more difficult for some people if they've got problems around the shoulders. So just do what you can manage. Don't want you to overstrain yourselves. Okay, then bringing them down a little bit smaller and just some small circles. And then bring those arms down. Okay. So hopefully we're gradually feeling a little bit warmer now. Okay. So we're going to stick with this upper body. It's going to help us keep warm. And this time we're going to bring our arms from out wide. We're going to bring them in like a hug and take them back out. Bring them in for a hug. Take them back out. Okay. Keep it going. And try and keep those feet moving. That was important. Trying to keep that heart rate up at the moment. Hopefully everybody's feeling good. Yeah. Keep one thing I wanted to talk about as well before I forget is keep your breathing quite natural throughout. Okay, make sure you're breathing nice and steadily all the way out. Okay, we don't want no breath holding. Okay, because that's going to raise our blood pressure and we don't want to be doing that. So breathe normally. And when we start doing the moves on the floor, still carry on breathing normally. Okay, let's bring those arms back down to the side, still moving those feet. And this time, we're going to take both hands, we're going to bring them up where we can reach and then back down up and then back down okay so all these is working through different muscle groups okay this is now hitting us into our back muscles 
and stretching out our lats at the back and again helping a bit more with the shoulders um, all the muscles then are going to feel lovely and lovely and warm okay so we're doing good everybody breathing all right everybody feeling okay that's what i'm hoping obviously i can't hear your feedback so i'm just trusting that you're all okay <laughs> um if anybody gets any issues okay um and you stop and rest just do so you know sit down if you're somebody who has angina and stuff make sure you've got your gtn spray and you've got things nearby but we're not going to go very high intensity okay so all we're going to do now is just to pick a little bit we're going to just bring those knees up a little bit higher okay which is why i sort of went back here so you can see my legs so just bring those knees up a little bit higher it's just going to get us a little bit warmer and get us probably to where we want to be okay we're doing good we're doing good we're running to a good time slowly getting that heart rate up and hopefully feeling a lot better okay there's something important though you must keep smiling while you do it <laughs> don't forget a big smile always makes it a lot more worthwhile keeping them going okay let's bring those feet back down to a normal march again i know that can get quite tiring i'm going to turn sideways and all we're going to do is, is we're going to flick up those heels okay flick up those heels towards our bums just going to stretch out the rest of our legs and get our water cells warmed up all the way through and then what we'll do is we'll warm up that core section so flicking those heels doing good keep it going still breathing extenuate <sighs> it if you need to i know i certainly will sometimes okay okay take that down to a normal match and then we're going to bring them to a stop and just from there just to get that core nice and ready just put the arms in front keep your hips pointing forward and twist by the shoulders okay so your hips stay forward just so you can feel a little stretch in the middle and then rotate it slowly controlled one side to the other okay should be getting us all feeling really ready to get some exercise done on this wonderful midsection and a couple more okay down okay i'm going to move this down to the floor so we can do some core work and you can see it so good time for a drink i always find a good time for a drink it is only water i promise <laughs> okay just going to move this camera down where with me and uh, i'll try you here see what you can see um, let me just find a good angle and make sure we've got that let me just check this okay all good okay so hopefully if i go over here now you're going to get yeah i think we've got myself pretty much in there haven't we in if i lay down yeah that's not too bad but we can manage that so hopefully you can all see we will keep working on these camera angles uh, make sure we get the perfect one but find yourself a comfortable position on the floor make sure you can still see the screen i'm going to work around the car okay the reason why i've chose this as our first one is i see your middle section your car or your torso if you like which is not just your abs but it's stuff around the side your obliques it's around the back here into your spine or erecti at the back it affects your pelvic floor your glutes your hip flexors a lot of it comes into play okay and i like to describe this bit as your linchpin of your body okay you get this bit nice and strong all your over exercises get better and easier and you look after that lower back okay so we're going to start with a quite a standard one we're going to get ourselves laid on the floor feet flat on the floor okay a nice sort of bend in the knees roughly about 90 degrees ish you know in the angle and all we're going to do is we're going to start off with a, a crunch okay now we're going to do this a little bit different to where you might have normally done it how we're going to do it is by placing our hands on our thighs and then just pulling our shoulders up to reach towards our knees and back down okay so we're going to try and do it by lifting our shoulders and come back down it's only a small movement but what we don't want to do is don't strain your neck here don't be pushing your neck forward because it will hurt just shoulders and down if your neck gets a bit tired just go and then come back into it but try and make it about the shoulders lifting up and not pulling through here and that's all the distance we're traveling top of the knees and back okay so let's do that and let me make sure i can keep an eye on how long we're doing it for that's better okay you ready let's keep it a minute so we're going to
Now raise it up and down. Up and down. All nice and controlled in here, okay? Up and down. Keep it going. Okay, you might feel it's tough. If you find it hard, stop, have a breather, and carry on. We'll all be at our zone levels, okay, and that's absolutely fine. We've all got to start somewhere. Some of us might be a lot further on, so if you find that, oh, this is easy, I can do it all day long, then put a little bit more pace into it. That's okay. But go with what you're used to. I don't want to take you to anywhere overly new. But keep it going. Good standard exercise. A few more seconds. And then, because some of you might be new to it, stop and just go, ah, okay. <laughs> Give yourself that little bit of a rest in the middle. So we're going to have a few seconds just to let that settle down. Then we're going to go back to that move, but we're going to make a change to it, okay? When we go back to it, I want this to be in that same place, but this time we're going to reach the opposite hand to the opposite knee, okay? So we're going to lift up one shoulder and reach across. One shoulder and reach across, and this will hit us through the cross section of our core and bring our obliques in down the side, okay? So we're okay with that? So opposite arm going to the opposite knee. So you're making a cross. Okay, are we ready? Okay, so reach across and down. Across and down. Across and down. Okay, so we've got that together. Reaching across that knee. Don't worry if you can't reach all the way up and you only reach to there. That's fine. You're doing what you can manage. So across and down. Keeping it flowing, feeling good, still smiling, so it's important that we still smile. <laughs> okay, so you can see what we're doing is we're gradually working around that core section, moving it all the way around. But because we're using our arms and moving our shoulders, they're also getting some work. So just because it's focused on the core doesn't mean your other muscle groups are getting some action, because they certainly are. Okay, we're doing well. Okay, a few more seconds. Okay, one more that side, one more the other side, and down again. Have your little rest bits and enjoy your rest periods in the middle, okay? Make sure you're not getting in too much strain in that neck. It's easier to strain it by pulling it up, so lay it down a bit. So just to give that area a rest, we'll move it around to the lower back, okay? So we're going to hit the lower back and the buttocks, okay? The glutes. So we call this move a glute bridge. You've probably heard of it before. You might have done it or seen it done in gyms. It's a really good exercise for your back. Looks after it very well. Handy thing is, it starts in that same position again, okay? So we get those feet flat on the floor. But how I'd like you to try and do it, if you can, is I'd like you to roll your back up, okay? So it's almost like you're going to peel your spine off the floor. Okay, so the pelvis, because we want to work on that floor as well, is like we're going to tilt it. So we're picking up that tailbone, and then we're going to peel it off the floor, squeeze as much as we can at the top, and then roll it all the way back down, okay? So we're really looking after that back. So we'll do a few of these now together, okay? So if you've got that, tilt the pelvis, peel it up off the floor, squeeze, roll it back down. Okay, good. And again, all nice and controlled, okay? This isn't about erasing them, this exercise. It's pretty much about the control and that good squeeze from your glutes at the top, okay? I'm still talking about your buttocks, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, roll it through. So now we're moving that strength of this torso right round to the back now. I'm looking after it all. This is going to help. It's going to bring in your pelvic floor. It's going to look after your back. Again, if um, you're finding this too easy, feel free to stick a leg up. Okay, make it a little bit harder. Then maybe after each second rep, you can swap it and put the other leg up. But don't worry, if it's still, you want to stay down here, also fine. Okay, a few more seconds. Okay, on this last one, I want you to hold it at the top if you can, squeeze your buttocks, hold it as best you can for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, drop it down. Okay, so far so good. Again, we'll give that a little bit of a rest. And then we're going to move back to the front. <laughs> back to front. Sounds like we're turning ourselves around, doesn't it? Okay. 
slightly harder exercise, so I'll show you a couple of variations. Uh, we want to do a reverse crunch now, okay, which is nicer because it doesn't affect your neck as much. Um, and what we're looking at is bringing our legs up and legs down, okay? That's quite a hard exercise. So if you can't manage that, bring the knees in and take the knees out, okay? If that's still too hard, swap them and do alternating legs, okay? So you've got options here. Your leg muscles are going to take some work too, as well as your core. So if you can do it straight leg, go straight leg, use your arms to balance. If not, bring them in, take them back out, or alternate. Okay, so ready? Let's get a few of these in, see what we can do. Okay, go. Bring them up, down with control, okay? Then back up, down with control. So again, do the version that you can do. I don't know all your fitness levels, so I want you to judge on that. Okay, you'll have different strengths, different fitness levels. Okay? Doing well, looking good. Almost, a few more seconds. Slightly harder exercise, yeah? <laughs> okay, keep going. And down. Good work, okay? Now I know that sort of stuff gets tough, so well done. Okay, while you're recovering, have a drink if you want. I'll have one to show you it's okay to drink when you need to. Okay, feeling good. Okay, so we're going to stay on our sides for this exercise. So, what we're going to do is try and keep our elbow underneath our shoulder, nice and in line, okay? Have it stacked over the top. Uh, body as straight as we can in a line. Feet together. Again, I'm going to give you a couple of variations. So, the, the full move that we want to do is we want to bring the hips up and back down, okay? Now, if you haven't got balance, Place your other hand on the floor there, give yourself that balance, okay? If that's still too much, bring a leg forward and then just bring it up with a little bit of a twist, okay? Preferably keep the leg straight and use a hand for balance. If you've got the balance and you're okay with that move, we'll do it. If that's too easy, because you know, some of you might be quite advanced, take the arm up at the same time. So bring it up like that and have to do work a bit harder, okay? Let's do eight on each side, eh? Sounds good. You ready? Let's take them in. So, first one. There we go. Two already. Do the version you can manage, remember, if you need that support. Do it like this. Or there. Or all the way up. You have choice. Okay. Six. Two more. Seven. Almost there. Eight. Good work. And that's a harder exercise. So, if you've done that, well done. Okay. Well done for trying it. So other side, what I will do is, I will flip myself over so that I can still be seen. <laughs> Otherwise I will disappear. Okay, a few seconds breather, and let's go, okay. One, two, three. We're on this, we're doing well, aren't we? Halfway, and again. One more, oh sorry, one more time now. <laughs> and down, okay, good work. Right, so these are exercises you can use at home at any time and you can do more sets of them, you can repeat them. Obviously, we're only here for a certain amount of time and the focus wants to be giving you that technique, okay? So for that last bit, I want you just to switch onto your hands and knees if you're able to. If your knees are sorry of problems, put a cushion under there, give them some padding, it can help. And we're going to finish with an exercise that sometimes gets called bird dog, sometimes gets called a kneeling superman. Call it what you like. All you have to do is follow the move, okay? And we're doing opposite arm to opposite leg to keep ourselves balanced. So you'll stick out, say my left leg going back, so that means my right arm will go out to the front. If that's too much, keep your hands down and just do the leg on its own, okay? Do whatever you've got balance. But if you can do both, take it out, bring it back. Take the opposite sides out, bring it back. Okay, give them a good stretch out of the back. Keep them moving now. Remember, if you can't manage the full balance, keep your arms down, just do the legs. You have choice. Otherwise, get the whole thing involved. Whole body, so much better. Okay, keep going, You're nearly there. 
and due to we're running towards the end of our time it'll be our last exercise so we'll bring ourselves down a little bit and have a little stretch um, and then you might join for another set of exercises in half an hour <laughs> who knows let's see how well you're feeling okay almost there one more this side one more this side down okay just sit down onto your heels perfect okay since we've done most of the work around here that's where we're going to put most of our stretch in so have a drink of water i'm going to bring this camera up higher and i'll show you our little stretches okay whoops oh, i lost the camera then <laughs> there we go should be okay should be okay okay quick drink of water as you can tell, I advocate drinking water a lot. It's a better angle, isn't it? There you go. I want you to see as much as you can. Oh, and then he fluffs it. And second, I don't know why that's gone weird from earlier, but it was fine. Oh, I know why. Sorry about that, everyone. It's because I need that angle up there, don't I? That's the one. That was the one. Okay. Okay. That's all that stays where it is while we <laughs> finish this off. Okay. So while we're coming down into these stretches, apologies for that bit. Um, that's my camera not having a good tripod. Um, let's still keep those feet moving. Just slowly bring it down. We're doing really well. I'll stop those timers now. Last few minutes, just bringing it down, okay? If you need longer to bring it down, Please take so and continue walking around after the session if you need to. But all we do is just keep walking gently on the spot, breathing nicely. <sighs> nice big breaths, okay, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And all I'm going to do is, while keeping those feet moving, you do some very, very simple stretches, okay, just to bring us through to the end. Um, so firstly, as the feet are moving, bring the hands in front, clasp the fingers together. Then I want you to push your shoulders forward and just let your head drop down. Just let that head hang, so from the side view, in case you can't see, that is all we're doing. But the feet are still moving, because we want to bring that heart rate down nice and steady. And I hope everybody maintains some really good breathing throughout, okay? So feet still moving, bring those arms in. Keep them that way, or you can turn them inside out if you want, depends on your flexibility. And then just stretch up tall, okay? It's going to stretch through your back and make yourself feel a little bit better. Feet still moving. Doing really well. Just a few more minutes now to bring this through. Okay. So we're going to bring those arms out wide, down. And then we're going to take it on the back, place them on the back of our hips. While the feet are moving. And then just squeeze your elbows backwards. Like you're trying to make the elbows touch behind your back. Now just pull through your chest and your shoulders. And make yourself feel a lot better. Okay, so doing well, nice stretch. Okay, bring them down. Okay, let's bring those feet down now and bring them to a stop. And then just to make sure, because we've done a lot of work on that core section, we're going to put those hands together, stretch them up tall, pull your chest up high. Okay, keep it there. Give it a little lean over to one side, just to pull through, so you still stretch down here now. Strain it up. Going to the other side. Okay, bit of yoga style. Please stretch up tall. Take a nice big breath in. And then exhale, hands wide. Down. So we're feeling good. Okay. So we've done incredibly well there. Okay, we've done quite a lot of lot of work. Uh, quick car circuit. Just getting us going. I'm just checking there. So everybody messages. Everything seems to be okay. That's good. And I'd like to say, you know, thank you for joining us. I know it's our first hit in this Wellness Wednesday, but we're going to try and keep these sort of things going. Um, it's booked in. Uh, any suggestions, anything that you want to see, any different health advice you want to hear about to do with food and nutrition or around the exercise, please put them questions forward and we'll incorporate them into the next session and make sure you get that full advice, okay? And next week, let's try and work a bit on some different parts of our body. Maybe the legs, let's see how we're doing, okay? But thanks for, for joining us, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself.
please leave those comments and uh, we'll see you again soon, okay? Thank you.